What's up guys, Jay? We're gonna have to kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And ever since I started streaming Borderlands Daily on Twitch, I've noticed that there are quite a lot of new players to the Borderlands franchise. Most of which seem to be recent converts from newer looter shooter franchises like Destiny and The Division, looking to scratch that itch for some fresh content. But they find themselves quickly at the mercy of RNG when it comes to farming some of the gear in game, especially the coveted UVHM2 legendary class mods from Tubbies. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite places to farm for Tubbies, but before we do, let's go ahead and answer the question. What exactly is a Tubby? Well, a Tubby is simply the UVHM name for a chubby enemy, which is an ultra rare version of enemy that's eaten so much loot that it's taken on a chubby or tubby appearance. <laughs> Up until level 61, these enemies are fairly useless, only dropping one of three items in its loot pool. The bunny rocket launcher, the equally ridiculously useless what the fuck shield, and the cracked sash fast charge TDR shield, which is actually pretty dope. <laughs> However, at level 62 and above, the UVHM2 DLC pack that upgraded the level cap from 61 to 62 included a new set of pearl essence in the tubby loot pool as well as an entire set of three legendary class mods per character. These class mods are some of the best in game, hands down. So where, where do you find these Tubby's enemies at? Well, pretty much any badass enemy that spawns in the game has a small chance to spawn as a Tubby. Which is why you hear so many people say that farming round one, wave four of the natural selection annex for tubbies is so lucrative because of the increased spawn of badasses in wave four. But that can consume a lot of time, ammo, and money since you have to clear three waves before you even get to the wave with the increased spawn of badasses. So today, I'm going to share a few areas to farm for some easy tubbies. Five. Number 5 on the list will take us through Frostburnt Canyon and deep into some spider ant territory. All along this route you'll notice a very large amount of elemental and armored spider ant spawns. These enemies, while not named as badasses, are considered badass spawns and all have a chance to spawn as a tubby. But also, don't forget to kill off the initial spawn of spider ants on your way through for an extra chance for more tubbies along the way from secondary spawns. Number four will be the unassuming docks in Tiny Tina's DLC. Not only is this area great for box farming Tiny Tina class mods, but if you enter through Flame Rock Refuge, you can save and quit repeatedly and just scope in on the beach with a sniper rifle to farm the Tubby Bone Skellyman, allowing you to kill two birds with one stone farming tubbies and class mods simultaneously. Three. 
Number three is gonna take us out to TK Baja's Headhunter pack in Hallowed Hollow. Now this is personally my favorite place to farm for tubbies for two reasons. Number one, you can start this farm right away without progressing through any of the story, making it a really great place to farm if you just reset your UVHM. And number two, if you progress this DLC only up until the area where you're supposed to go and meet the blacksmith, but no further than that, you don't have to deal with any enemies along the way on this farming route, and it only takes five minutes to progress this portion of the headhunter pack to this farm. Number two is going to be one of the more well-known tubby farming areas in the game, the dust. More specifically, the trail behind Ellie's on the way to the Black Queen is chock full of spider ant spawns and a pretty high chance to see a few of these in a very short amount of time. But also, don't forget to check out front of Ellie's garage too, the double spawns there are also pretty well known for spawn and tubbies as well. Stay put. Enough. That was satisfying, huh? One. And finally, the number one area for farming tubbies in the game is, yep, you guessed it, Arid Nexus Badlands. Remember when I said earlier that some enemies in the game aren't named as badasses, but still count as badass spawns anyway? Yeah, well, that holds true for rabid skags as well in this area when it comes to rabid skags <laughs> it's just it's just teeming with them at every single corner of this map which not only makes for one amazing tubby farm but also makes for a great area to level up with since each rabid skag counts for about 5000 xp it's not uncommon to see up to and possibly more than five rabid I said five rabid skags or more in this area in one run, making it not only a great place to farm XP, but also the best place in game to farm for tubbies. So, my name is Jay, more than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, and subscribe. If you can leave thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking videos. But let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite area to farm tubbies in the game? Did I mention it to you in this video? Did it make the list? If not, let me know in the comment section down below where do you find your tubbies? My name's Jay. We're an after kill. Thanks for watching. 
I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later. Yes.